The incident in, in, in Stellenbosch is one too many in recent months. Like I've said, it is akin to defecting, urinating on the Constitution itself because it is done on the year in which we are celebrating the 25th year of the Constitution. These kind of barbaric incidents must be condemned and must be dealt with accordingly. And I'm glad that the student has opened the case and justice must prevail. We have to appeal to white parents to preach love and diversity in their families. There is no reason for a 21-year-old to be accused of racism in this day and age. This points to the upbringing of the child, because this child was born post-democracy. Equally, the search of incidences of xenophobia calls for all of us to work together to build a diverse society against an all-related intolerance. Self-help can be the solution to the challenges of immigration we have as a society. All groups need to participate within the confines of the law and not resort to self-help. The state must be the one that continues to enforce the law. I do understand that there could be a break of trust with regards to the state, but it remains the only viable instrument that can do its work and ensure that there is no violence in ensuring the implementation of the immigration laws in the country. In this regard, we must be clear that we do not encourage lawlessness. Home affairs must deal with illegal immigrants in line with the immigration laws. Illegal and uncommitted immigrants must be attended to as per the prescripts of the law. There is no country in the world where people just walk in without following any law and without any prescripts being respected. Even some of our counterparts across the globe and even in the African continent resort to job preservation for their nationals. We need different skills coming from many parts of the world, including in our own country, to build the, our economy. The African continent must find a common vision, common approach to immigration. And we must be able to respond in a manner that also help receiving nations like South Africa in dealing with this challenge. But it does not help when other countries resort to job preservations for their nationals, because this then put unnecessary pressure to the government of South Africa, which is a receiving country, and which continues to play its role to ensure that there is harmony, there is tolerance, and all skills can be used in our country. And this must be done within the confines of the law. Operations of business by anyone must also be done within the confines of the law. It must be done in accordance with the bylaws of local municipalities and the laws of the republic. You can't have everyone, Tom, Dick, and Harry, opening a shop, a spaza shop, without following the law. The law must be adhered to by everyone. And if we ensure that the law is adhered to by everyone, irrespective of whether it's a South African national or a foreign national, we are going to avoid incidences of self-help by anyone, people who try to take the law into their own hands, including the groups such as Operation Tudula or any other groups. The state must be in the center to create a harmonious society and a society where the law is respected by everyone. And the state need to attend to crime by everyone, whether foreign nationals or South Africans.